Hello and welcome to the freebets.com video log. I'm joined by Saints legend Matt Letizier, who's going to take us through the Premiership action and a lot of spicy action this weekend, Matt, with uh, plenty of derbies. Let's start on uh, Merseyside, where Everton entertain Liverpool. How do you see this one? Yeah, this is the uh, the early kickoff Saturday lunchtime. Uh, there'll be a lot of uh, focus on this game. Two teams who have started the season pretty well, um, and in these local derbies, it's always very, very difficult to call it. And uh, for me, whenever I look at a local derby where two teams are uh, are pretty evenly matched, um, especially if if the team that are maybe a little bit lower down the league are at home, um, then I think all the value is in is in the draw. Um, and I think probably under two and a half goals isn't going to be a bad bet in this game as well. There you go. The draw twelve to five. Liverpool six to four. Everton, who haven't won in the last six Merseyside derbies, two to one. Now let's move to the Emirates, where Arsenal entertain your team, Southampton, who have had a fantastic start to the season. Normally, you'd say this would be a tough one for, for Saints, but of course they've already gone to Old Trafford, got a point. They've already been to Anfield and won, so uh, nothing to fear here. Um, absolutely nothing to fear. Um, I think the way they've started the season has been phenomenal. Um, they've shown respect to the opposition but not too much and they've gone to places and tried playing their football uh, I think they'll do the same against Arsenal um, and I, you know Southampton are a big price uh, to win this game and I think they're a lot shorter than a, a 11 to 2 I think somewhere around there um, I think that's very generous odds uh, for a Southampton win especially you know the form that they've been in um, I, it, I know I'm a little biased being an ex-Southampton supporter but I just look at the odds uh, with an impartial uh, hat on, and I think that's eleven to two is far too generous. Mm-hmm. The draw ten to three, Arsenal eight to thirteen. If you fancy the Gunners, um, give us a first goal scorer for that one because Saints have obviously been scoring well. Arsenal too. Yeah, I think um, the, the pace in our side will be important, uh, and I think um, if Jay Rodriguez starts, I think he's um, one of those players who could catch Arsenal on the, on the break. They've looked a little bit vulnerable to, to fast breaks uh, and Jay's the one that injects a little bit of pace into our side uh, and he's the one who, who may well be able to catch Arsenal on the break for a first goal scorer. There you go, Jay Rodriguez to score first, Saints to win, you heard it here first. Let's move across London now to uh, Craven Cottage where Fulham entertains Swansea. Martin Yoll under a bit of pressure, you have to say. Do you think he'll get out of jail here? Um, it'll be a tough one, you know, Swansea, although it maybe haven't hit the heights of last season, um, they're still a very good football inside. Uh, I think, obviously, Martin Yoll has, uh, has enlisted a little bit of help in in the uh, shape of Renny Mullenstein, who's coming to give him a hand. So that may uh, have an impact on Fulham. Um, home advantage may also just decide it. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty tight game, um, but home, home advantage might just decide it. So I'm, I'm going to go for a very narrow Fulham win. And again, I don't see too many goals in this game. There you go, 23-10 to 10, Fulham. Uh, Hull now against uh, Crystal Palace, who uh, really are struggling. Yeah, uh, it's, been, it's been a tough uh, start of the season for Palace. Um, it's, uh, it's never easy coming up from the Championship. Hull have, have made a pretty decent start as a, as a promoted side, to be fair. I didn't really expect to see them um, do so well at the start of the season. They've, uh, they've, they've not scored a, a bag full of goals this season. Um, but what they've done at home is they've let in very few goals uh, and, and Crystal Palace, I don't see scoring up here. Again, it wouldn't surprise me to see Hull Nick in this 1-1-0. Mm. A bit further up the East Coast, of course, Newcastle entertain Norwich. 4-5 to five, the Geordies, Norwich 9-2. to two. How do you see this one? Well, I, I think 4-5 to five is, a, is a very good price. Um, you know, Newcastle have had a couple of decent results. Uh, one away uh, at Spurs, one at home to Chelsea. And you look at those odds, they're playing Norwich at home, who haven't been in great form. Um, maybe got a little bit lucky with the win over West Ham uh, and I, I think 4-5 to five is very generous so it would be a, a home win for me for that one Stoke v Sunderland Sunderland obviously beat City uh, Poye described as his best ever result as a manager can they get another three points at uh, the Britannia? Well it's it's a fixture that they would have looked at and thought this is one that they've got a chance in um, that, mind you they probably looked at the Man City one and thought they didn't um, but uh, a, a good win there and that should fill the team with a little bit of confidence I think they might go there and get a point I think a draw in this one uh, may be the way to go OK the draws around about 5-2 to two. Uh, last but not least on Saturday West Ham entertained Chelsea uh, in a London derby fives the Hammers are Chelsea 4-6 to six, the draw 3-1 to one. what do you think Matt? Um, 5-1 to one is always massive for a home side uh, yeah I know West Ham haven't uh, set the season alight so far um, 
But again, Chelsea have, have just struggled a little bit in the last couple of weeks. So uh, they've probably got a better chance than 5-1. to one, But I, I think I'd probably still take Chelsea as the away win. So best of luck if your team's involved in a big local derby this weekend. And best of luck, of course, with your bets. All the best ones are at www.freebets.com.